Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where today I have a math test prep question for you about the graph of a proportional relationship. This is a question that has four parts. It's an open response question. I will read each part and ask you to pause and come back to check your work. The graph shows the relationship between X and the number of hours that Mr. David works and Y, the number of dollars that he earns. Part A, based on the graph, is the relationship between X and Y proportional and explain your reasoning. Go ahead and pause now. Welcome back. So we know that we are trying to determine whether or not the graph here shows a proportional relationship. So first I notice that it is line, so it's linear. And then I want to notice that it check to see if it passes through the origin. So this line begins at the origin and I can determine that yes, since the graph is a line that passes through the origin, the relationship between X and Y is indeed proportional. Part B, what does the point 390 represent in the context of this situation? Go ahead and pause now. Welcome back. So we know that this is an ordered pair and we know that an ordered pair represents X, Y. So an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. So we're going to go to our graph to see what the X and Y represent. So in this graph of Mr. David's earnings, we see that the X axis represents the hours worked by Mr. David. The Y axis represents the dollars earned by Mr. David. So we can replace our X coordinate and our Y coordinate with these words. So the X coordinate represents the hours worked and the Y coordinate represents the dollars earned, which I got right from my graph. Now I'm gonna add in our numbers from this specific ordered pair that we're being asked to interpret. So the hours worked was three, three hours worked, and the 90 is $90 earned. So now we can write this as a sentence. We know that Mr. David earns $90 for three hours of work. Part C, based on the graph, how many dollars will Mr. David earn if he works for 10 hours? And explain how you got your answer. Go ahead and pause now. Welcome back. So now we're gonna use our graph to determine how much he works makes if he works 10 hours. But our graph does not extend out. It ends at five hours and we can't extend out 10 on this graph. So we're gonna have to find another way to do it. Well, in part A, we determined that this represented a proportional relationship. So let's write a proportion. I know that from my graph that when he works one hour, he gets $30. So that's our unit rate. And it also is a ratio, $30 in one hour. So I can use this to find out X amount in 10 hours. Cross product property, one times X is X, 30 times 10 is 300. So I can conclude that Mr. David will earn $300 if he works 10 hours. Part D, write an equation that could be used to find Y the number of dollars Mr. David earns for working X hours. Please pause now. Welcome back. So when we have a proportional relationship, we can write the equation of the line in the form Y equals K times X, where K represents our constant proportionality, which is a big word that represents unit rate when we're talking about a graph of a proportional relationship. And we discovered in a previous part that our unit rate was 30. So when he works one hour, he makes $30. That's our constant of proportionality. So we replace K in our equation with that value of 30, and our equation that represents this relationship is Y equals 30X. Thanks for joining me today for some more math test prep. I hope you'll continue on to the next video.